Good morning everyone! Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, all the rest of it. My dog just near had a heart attack when I shouted that. <laughs> so it's currently the 2nd of January, we're all done and dusted with 2016, it is over and done with. Thank God because I was just getting bored of that year, it was just a bit like all over the joint and uh, nah, not for me. Good things happened, bad things happened, people came and went. But I'm looking forward so much to 2017 because I am now officially on my countdown to Florida. Florida is in five months. I have five months to sort this out and I am excited. I am going to film my entire journey through this whole weight loss thing because I need something to motivate me. I need some you know, encouragement, I need to look at these videos myself so I can be like, I need to do it. I need to look at myself, look at how fat I've gotten and be like, I need to lose myself some weight. Mm -mm. I can't do this anymore. Physically, I feel horrible. I know I look disgusting. I've ne I don't think I've ever been so self-conscious about my arms before in my life. Like, I feel like I need to just cut them off because they're in the shot right now and that's stressing me out. You know, my stretch marks are all out. Like, somebody call the police because Naomi is about to have a punch down with herself. If you don't mind me saying. So, yeah, like, pretty much I am... Um, I don't even know how much I weigh today. I was going to weigh myself this morning, but my scales have run out of bodies. So I'm just going to wing it. I'll have some by the end of the week. So I'll just weigh myself at the end of the week and who knows what I'll have lost. If I've lost, I might have put on. Last time I weighed myself, it was around 20 stone, three pounds or something like that. So I would say at most I was 20 stone and a half. Over the festives, I might have gotten a bit bigger, but we're just gonna go with that and work with it. If I still weigh myself at the end of the week and I'm still 20 stone and five pounds, then Fair enough, at least I have some kind of starting point. This is just my breaking in week because right now I'm mentally trying to prepare myself to eat healthy, you know, do exercise, not eat bad things. Like, I'm really trying so hard because I have a really bad relationship with food. I go to food for anything, boredom, sadness, happiness. Food is a big deal for me and I definitely have an eating disorder of some kind, like not the one where you don't eat because it's definitely not me. Look at me. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm ready for it. I'm gonna kick 2017, beginning of the year is ass is gonna get a whooping because I need to go to Florida. Florida has been my dream since I was a little girl. You know, I've grown up in a pretty, moderate like state of family like we weren't ever like higher class we weren't ever like completely you know we didn't get nothing but florida is a big thing for like me and like it's a lot of money and above all it is just my dream to go to disney world and it's coming true and it's official i'm going and i have to go not in this body this body will not cope with the amount of walking i need to do with all the rides like I am not even joking when I say, imagine I went to Florida like tomorrow with this body and went to go on a ride and I felt like I was constricted or you know, someone was like, she ain't gonna fit in there. Mm -mm, that ain't happening. Get her off. I wanna be able to do as much as I can. We only have two weeks there. It's like once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to go. So I'm buzzing, but I need to change the way I look because I'm not healthy, I can't walk very far, my back gets sore, my feet get sore, I'm out of breath, I've got really bad asthma, all this weight is really bad for my chest. You know, being this big is causing me a lot of health problems at the minute and I just, I'm done with it. I'm so over it because for the last nine, ten years, I've been overweight and cried about it, 
been depressed about it. It's completely played with my mind. I'm done. I am done with it. I don't want to be fat Naomi anymore. I want to be, I don't want to be completely like, I know for a fact that like, by the time May comes around, I'm not gonna have lost like six stone, you know? I'm not, I'm not looking at unrealistic expectations. I'm gonna set myself small goals and so they are achievable and they are doable and I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna nail it. Even if I get, even if I drop like two or three dress sizes by the time I get there, I will feel like I've nailed it. <laughs> I'm doing it and then I will continue to do that this isn't just about a holiday to Florida. This is about changing my life for the better because I'm sick and tired of having so many, you know, up moments where I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna lose weight. And then all of a sudden I have a down moment and I've, I'm back to where I've started or I've gained more weight, which unfortunately is what's happened to me in the previous two or three years. I have gained so much weight that now I'm like, I have no idea where I can even begin. But at the end of the day, beginning is today and um, today is beginning I'm gonna nail it I'm so excited but I'm so super scared as well because above everything I hate letting myself down and my family down and you know my boyfriend down and I just I hate feeling like I've promised myself things and I've never accomplished them because you know I feel like even just me as a person I haven't really achieved much in my life I know I'm only 20 but I still feel like so many other people around me have achieved so much more than I have by this age or you know by only a few years older than me they've achieved so much and I'm still still this overweight girl that's messed up in the head and just doesn't really know what she's doing with her life but I I can't just carry on in the way I am and being undecided about everything and I have to just do this for myself above everything even if I wasn't going to Florida this needs to happen or else I'm cutting my life short. I'm wasting my life and I can't, I can't do that. We only have one life. We only have one life and we only get to live it once. And for the past 10 years, I've wasted it being sad and feeling sorry for myself and just toing and froing back and forth between I'm losing weight, I'm not, I'm getting fatter, I don't care anymore, I want to die, I hate my life, I hate myself, blah de blah. Well, that stops now, I'm done with it. So here we are, I'm going to vlog the entire thing. I am going to share with you my whole experience because if anything else, that will push me to do better because I will be embarrassed <laughs> when I look back on these videos and I look at myself, I want to feel, God, why didn't I do something sooner, you know? Like, why didn't I change sooner? That's not a nice way to look, that's not a nice, like way to be, like that's not healthy. And I want to encourage anyone else who's feeling like they need to change, if anything else for their health, do it. You need to do it, life is too short. Like I woke up pretty much one day and I put on six stone. I wasn't always this big, yeah okay, I've been a bit overweight, I've been a bit chubbier, but this is ridiculous. Like I don't even know how it happened. It seemed like it happened overnight. It happened in a very quick time. Whereas like maybe some people put that amount of weight on like over you know maybe five six years I put on this weight in one and a half years I put on six stone that's nah <laughs> not having that not doing that anymore so yeah if you're thinking about losing weight please feel free to join me on my quest to a better health, a better life, a better mind, a better soul. Like, I feel like everything around me is so negative in myself, not in my life, in myself. I'm such a negative Nelly and I hate being like that, but it is just, it's just the way it's been. It's, I, I just don't know any other way, so I'm gonna force myself to be positive, to get up and do it and get it done. You know, at the end of the day, me losing weight may seem like it's gonna last forever, but if I just keep in mind that there will be a goal at the end of it and I will have changed my life, that will be such a short period of time in my life when I'm old and grey and I look back on the most important times of my life, being this size and being, you know, fat for so long won't even be important anymore because hopefully I'll have lost all the weight, I'll live a great life and I'll be so much more happy than I've been over the last 10 years, you know, and I feel so empowered by myself right now because I'm not normally this positive but I feel like 
this Florida holiday is gonna push me and I'm gonna have to nail it or else I'll never forgive myself if I go on a holiday, a once in a lifetime for me holiday where I've wasted it being, you know, overweight and I can't, I can't wear what I want and I feel sad and I'm depressed and I hate myself and I'm angry and I fall out with my boyfriend because I just hate what I'm wearing and you know, all the typical things that come with being this overweight and you know, even just overweight and self-conscious and blah 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 blah, all the rest of it but I really just hope you'll join me. I know this is a bit of a change for my channel and I'm not doing a sit down, you know, proper video where I talk about stuff or I do something, you know, all the rest of it, but this is what I need to do right now. This is what's important to me and I felt like if I share it, it'll motivate me. I hope it motivates someone else, you know, maybe someone will look at me and be like, okay, I'm not actually as big as her right now, but I could do with losing a few stone, so I'm gonna do it because I don't want to end up like that fat girl on YouTube, like, who's trying to completely change your life, but you do it, you do it for you, no one else for your health, for your whole life. Like like I say, we've got one life, only one of them, and they're really short, <laughs> like, completely. If you're watching this and you're only like 14, 15, and you feel like, oh, life is so long, I hate my life, it's gonna be like this forever, it's not. I was there, I was that sad teenage girl that was like, I hate my life, why don't I just kill myself? Like, oh, I've so been there and understand that. But it won't be like that and you just have to, you take control of your life, you make your decisions, nobody else does. I hate when people are like, oh but this person did this and I, I had to do this then and blah blah. No, that's not the case. You choose your life, you make your own decisions. If you want to run off and do something completely different from what your family believe you should be doing, do it, it's your life. You have to truly believe what is right for you, you have to do it because at the end of the day, you are you and nobody else controls you. Nobody, and nobody else has the right to make decisions for you. And nobody else should ever bring you down because we have one life and we're gonna live it. We're gonna live it. We're gonna live it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna live it. <laughs> sorry for the rambling part, but I wanted to make this introduction to this whole experience important and meaningful and so I can look back at it and be like, oh, look at my arms, how horrible they are. But, Hopefully I'll look back on this in, you know, six months and be like, I can see a little bit of difference here. I don't have as many cellulite -y holes or, you know, my stretch marks have lightened and I will do a proper like run through of all this, but just not today. I'm not feeling that today. <laughs> I'm not going to force myself to do that. This is what, this is uncomfortable for me, but this is about as comfortable as I'm getting today. <laughs> you know, to even have my arms out, no makeup on, hair up. I mean, realistically, this is what I look like on a daily basis, so I'm not gonna do myself up for a daily vlog every day, you know, I'm, I'm not that type of person. I'm not that vain. Like, if you don't like what I look like, if you think I look ugly right now, then cool, I'm sure I've thought it worse. Then just don't watch it. If you don't wanna watch this, don't watch it. Nobody's forcing you to. If you have a problem with my arms or if my fat bothers you, don't watch it. Don't bother going around telling people how ugly I look or you know how disgusting it is or blah blah blah. I'm trying to benefit myself right now. I'm trying to do something better. And if I can help others in the process, I'm so happy with that. Like so happy. So yeah, here I am. Naomi's weight loss transformation. I can't believe the amount of times I've had to say this. Day one. <laughs> Please stick with me guys because I'm gonna need some support. And um, you know. I'm probably gonna have a few days where I'm like, I'm not doing this, but you gotta push me. I've gotta push myself. I'm gonna do it. Thanks guys. <laughs>